In this After Effects tutorial, I'm gonna teach you how to make these easy wipe transitions that are super customizable, and I use them all the time in professional motion graphics projects. And if you don't feel like watching the whole video, you can just download the free presets from the link in the description, but at least let the video play for 30 seconds because that's when YouTube counts it as a view. All right, so let's get into the video. So you have two scenes that you wanna transition between, scene one, scene two. So what you could do is make a new solid and add something like a linear wipe and you just keyframe from zero to 100, give it some nice easing and then use it as an alpha mat, right? Now you have a nice little wipe transition. But what if you wanted this wipe to be visible, you want it to live on top of the layers and it wipes over and wipes on and off. Well, you're not gonna be able to achieve that with an alpha mat because it hides this top layer. So what can we do? Well, I'll show you, all right? So what we're gonna do is undo all this, delete this layer, let's start fresh, all right? So I'm gonna make another new solid here. I'll call this wipe. And again, we're gonna add a linear wipe to this. Now, again, what I'm gonna do is we're gonna keyframe this transition, except this time we're gonna start at 100, so there's nothing here. And let's go over one second and now bring it down to zero, okay? So now what we have is this wipe that starts at nothing and then comes on. But now what we need to do is we need to basically reverse this and get this wipe out of here, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and add on another linear wipe, all right? And this time, keyframe the opposite. So here now, we'll add a keyframe and then bring this up to 100, like this. So you can see what's happening, it's gonna wipe on and then wipe off. But the problem with the second wipe is it just kind of ping pongs, right? It goes ping pong. So we wanna bring this angle around the other way. So now, it looks like it's wiping fluidly from one side to the other, okay? And then what I'll do is I'll give this some easing that feels fluid by easing the first keyframe and the last keyframe so it feels like it starts slow, speeds up, and then slows down. This part can be a personal preference, chef's choice, but it'll look something like this. And now with our scenes, what we'll do is right in the middle here, we will cut and this is where our transition happens like this. So now what's cool about this is we can go ahead and change the angles of stuff. So if we want this to be on an angle and wipe it, we can. But you'll see this that our angles are gonna be out of whack. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick whip this second angle by alt clicking and then attach it to the first one here like this and I will add plus 180 degrees and that will spin it around to um, basically mirror this direction. So now whenever we change this angle, the other side will follow. And this is the basis of how you can make one of these cool dynamic wipes. Now we can get into some fun stuff that you can do on top of these wipes. So you could add an echo to this and then if you leave the operator on add, you'll get a lighter color for each echo. So let's put this on like five and now you'll just get these nice kind of delayed colors that happen with each wipe. That's kind of cool. If you add something like a wave warp, you can get this really nice wavy texture on the side. So I will go ahead and put pinning on all edges so that we get these flat edges on the borders of our composition. And I'll pump up the sides here in the right direction like this. So we'll make sure we get the direction right. So I think it wants to be um, perpendicular with whatever side, with whatever wipe angle we have. So it probably wants to be something like this. All right. And we can bump these up like this. That's pretty cool. And then we have this wipe that goes like that. And you can see, maybe you won't like this, but I think it's kind of cool how it starts flat and then stretches out the faster it goes. And again, you would want to pick with this direction to your wipe angle and then add in 
uh, I guess 90 degrees I think would be the right thing. You're gonna have to check the math on that. That's kind of cool. And if you don't want these to be so even, what if you want some kind of more rough edges? Well, if you wanted rougher edges, you could add something like a roughen edges here. And then you could just kind of pump up the scale of this and the border and maybe pump down the border, pump down the scale, and you get some really rough edges like that. And that's not really doing it for me, so instead I'll add a turbulent displace like this, and then we'll get some really kind of wonky ones like this. Maybe change up the size and get something kind of cool like that. That's pretty cool. You can make it really messy like this, and it's gonna go a little bit slow because of our echoes. But now you can start adding on all these really crazy f effects and um, start playing with your wipes and make some really interesting results. So I made some free presets you can download in the link in the description. Go ahead and check them out. There's like a tear wipe. Um, we got like a blocky wipe, um, a classic wipe, uh, maybe some others they might look a little different by the time this video comes out but feel free to check them out and play around with them all you got to do is install them and then they will pop up in your effects and presets with whatever name i named them all right so check them out feel free to enjoy them let me know if you liked this video if you like the presets and thank you for watching and i will catch you in the next video goodbye